Hello friends, today we are going to learn LXI instruction of 8085 microprocessor. We read this instruction as LXI RP, data. One should know full form of LXI. So let's see what is full form of LXI. L stand for load, X stand for register pair. So what will happen because of this instruction, a register pair will get loaded. And here I stand for immediate. So whatever 16-bit immediate data is given in instruction, that will get loaded inside the register pair. Then question is how many register pairs are there? So register pairs are total three: BC pair, DE pair, and HL pair. Now every pair has storage capacity of 16-bit. Means it can store a four-digit hexadecimal number. Let's say 20, 50, H. Okay, so 20 will get stored inside the B register and 50 will get stored inside the C register. So that is the storage capacity of a single register pair. Then what is data in this instruction? In this instruction data is four digit hexadecimal number ranging from 0000, 0, 0, 0 H up to FFFFH. FFFFH is the highest data that we can load inside the register pair. Then stack pointer. Here one should know what is SP. SP stand for stack pointer. Now what is stack? Stack it is stack is a vertical memory. Okay, stack is a vertical memory. We'll be having addresses as 0, 0, 0, 0, 0H and f f f f h and this memory let's say is full up to this location 20 35 h up to this location some random data is there okay then what is stack pointer stack pointer is a register which will hold the position of this okay up to which memory location our stack is full that will be informed by stack pointer so it is again a 16 bit register which is capable of hold capable of holding four digit hexadecimal number then this lxi instruction will be of four types lxi b 16 bit data 16 bit data means four digit hexadecimal number or it will be lxi d or it will be LXI H. So these are three register pairs. And last part of this instruction can be LXI SP, 16 bit data. Means what will happen? Four digit hexadecimal data we will directly transfer inside the stack pointer. So this instruction is used for initializing the stack. Okay. If you want to initialize the stack pointer, then we may use LXI SP instruction. Now let's try to understand what does exactly happens when we execute Alexa instruction. So whenever we execute Alexa instruction, a 16-bit data which is given in instruction get loaded inside the register pair. Suppose instruction is LXI B, comma 5070H. Because of this, what will happen? This 16 bit data means 4 digit hexadecimal number will get copied inside the BC pair. So B will get 50H and C register will get 70H. Therefore BC register pair will get 5070H. So this is the format of this instruction. Now let's see what will be the addressing mode of this instruction. Addressing mode of any instruction totally depends on operand. Now, in it, you can clearly see 16 bit data is given. So, whenever in instruction you will get data, let's say Alexa H, 35, 25H. So, whenever you will see data in operand, its addressing mode will become immediate addressing mode. There is another shortcut of remembering immediate addressing mode, and that is I. If you will see I somewhere in this instruction, then its addressing mode must be immediate addressing mode. Few more examples of immediate addressing mode are MVI. 
so over here also you can see i is coming that's why we can say that its addressing mode will be immediate addressing mode so this is the shortcut technique by which you can remember immediate addressing mode of 8085 instruction now let's talk about group of this instruction now over here we are transferring data inside the bc register pair 16 bit data that's why this instruction comes under data transfer group now how many byte instruction it will be it will be a 3 byte instruction why 3 byte instruction because when we write lxi d comma 7858h then this lxi d will take first byte 78 will take second byte and 58 will take third that's why it is a 3 byte instruction now flags now since we are not processing data over here we are not performing any arithmetic or logical operation on data that's why no flags are affected okay flags are getting affected only when we perform arithmetic or logical operations so data transfer group instruction never affects the flag let's take example suppose instruction is lxi b comma 2030h so what is the value of bc register pair now over here let's say before execution bc was 2575h then after execution of this instruction what will happen new value of bc register pair will become 2030h Let's take one more example to understand it clearly. Suppose instruction is LXI SP comma 3540H. So before execution of this instruction, we should check what was the value of stack pointer. Stack pointer. So let's say stack pointer was holding 2050H. Okay. So after execution of this instruction, new value of stack pointer will simply become 3540H. So this 3540H will get transferred inside the stack pointer. Okay, here are few more problems for practicing. You can practice it and give your answer in comments. Problem number one says that before execution of LXIB instruction, BC register pair was holding 2255H. Then after execution of LXI B comma 5577H, what will be the new content of BC register pair? Then another problem says that suppose before execution stack pointer was holding 5000H and after execution of LXI SP comma 5050H, what will be the new value of stack pointer? So these are the two examples that you can solve and write your answers in comment. Thank you everyone.